Hello and welcome to Teachings in Education. I am your narrator, Frank Avello. Here we're going to look at some of the best science teaching activities for your students. First up, teachers can assign students to create flow charts on, on a number of different scientific processes, such as the path of blood, cellular respiration, photosynthesis, or any other step-by-step -step process. Classroom demonstrations are something you wouldn't want to miss out on as a science teacher. Perform the elephant toothpaste reaction, mentos and coke, synthetic nylon, clock reactions, and many more that'll dazzle the students. Assign your students a topic, say the greenhouse effect, and have them create a PowerPoint and present it to the class and take questions on it. Models are often used as a way to represent what isn't readily visible, such as molecules or microscopic organelles. Assign students the task of creating a DNA model. Clay models of an animal cell are another example. Food science lessons can be applied to multiple grades. Some examples include making butter from scratch. After the butter is made, let the kids enjoy it over some fresh bread. Many science college graduates find careers doing research. Teachers have an obligation to prepare students for the future. Assign research reports at least once a year. Why not have a science fair? Allow the students to present their work to the entire school. They can put it on a trifold board. You'll need to get the principal on board, but why wouldn't they? And classes can come down in the afternoon and view the work. Learning centers are a classroom activity where several different assignments are located at tables in the classroom. Students rotate as a group from table to table. Marzano's research shows that one of the best ways to learn new information is to compare and contrast to other known information. As an activity, have students complete a Venn diagram or any other type of graphic organizer. When I was in school, we were allowed to perform dissections. Today, schools with limited resources use virtual dissection. You can find them online and it's much easier than having to do all the work of setting up and cleaning after the real dissection. Games are always fun if the teacher makes it that way. Try a science bingo or a science jeopardy. You'll need to give a prize if you want maximum engagement, maybe a small bag of chips, Poster boards were always a staple of my classroom teaching. Students can create posters on the world of biomes. They can do the tundra, the desert, deciduous forest. And then they present that information to the classroom. I've always been a big advocate for field trips. It provides an opportunity for students to make a connection between the content and real life. It also gets the students out of the boring classroom. Classroom debates may seem like an activity meant for social studies classes, but it doesn't have to be allow students to debate the effects of global warming. Students make arguments and support their arguments with scientific evidence. Lab experiments are requirements for several secondary science courses. At the end of the day, performing lab experiments is essential function of science. Mr. Zellman has his environmental science students create comic strips on environmental issues such as oil shortage and, get and electric cars. For biology, he has students create a flip book for mitosis and meiosis. Another activity is to do current events in science class. Students can read web articles on a daily news in the scientific community. They can then write about it and share with their opinions. Lastly, provide students with puzzles, brain teasers, and riddles. Crosswords are popular as well. It stimulates their brain, and kids just kind of love completing puzzles. Anyway, right now I want to say thank you for your time. Please check the description for resources related to science teaching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and please like and share this video as well.